Fill her up. You're listening to the Gas Digital Network. Yeah. Hello. Uh, hello. Hi, how are you doing? Hi. Uh, Welcome to another episode of Just the Tips. I got What episode are we are we up to? We, it's been a while since I think it's gonna be 42. Oh 40, 42, 43, 41, somewhere around there. Okay, so we're it's like it's close. like our age is. Oh my god, yeah, it's true. I say we put the book out at 50. 50. You what? The the, 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 the haiku, haiku book? book? Let's do it. Speaking. Okay, but which, well, at 52, that would be our one year anniversary, right? There's 52 weeks in a year at 52. So we're getting pretty close. It'll be our one year anniversary. So maybe we should just do podcast. a year, but a uh, year one drop. Okay. You know, year one. That sounds cooler. And then every year we can. We can put out a new book. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, can it, we maybe track down who our very first subscriber was? Well, it was probably me. <laughs> <laughs> and like give them something who was our I'll like like the it. you know yeah, maybe we can maybe. give them something well thank you all for being along on the journey with us yeah. this far but we still need a lot uh, more but we do need, we need a lot more we need so a, please if you're listening to this subscribe but i guess yeah. maybe you already subscribed if you no. no actually you know what well okay. okay if you hear this stop what you're doing right now and subscribe yeah, or you're probably <clears throat> already subscribed. Uh, so, you know, <laughs> what you can do is tell your friends, share the shit on social media, blah, 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 blah. You asked how I was doing, Joanna. And oh, I, yes, I'm, how are you doing? I'm, I've got fucking paint in, like, all my nails and my hands. Oh, wow. I, I'm a, oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, it's just like. Well, you did you care how I was doing? Yeah, yeah, I do care about how you're doing, and <laughs> well, I'm so sorry uh, about I'm, the paint on well, your I'm hands. I'm a little tired. I've been I've been painting say? in our basement. You have been for painting. The last two You've been painting days. your music studio. Yeah, your music studio downstairs. You're painting it some kind of blue. It's it's sexy. It's like a dark, dark charcoal gray, blue silver kind of. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Great Gatsby vibe. It is yeah. great Gatsby vibe. Yeah. It's also I actually thought it was very like under the sea, <laughs> under the sea, <laughs> like, like Little, little Mermaid. Mer <laughs> no, it's <sighs> sure. It, it felt under like sea, Santorini, it Greece, down there. You know, it felt like that is not the same blue. That is more of an Olympic blue. It, well, maybe you need another uh, coat like because it felt a little bit Olympic. Are you, you're. Well, I, there's a lot of white ah! in the room, so I yeah, I know you were trying to make it look like. Um, Ooh, I anyway, got, I got lipstick on the microphone. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, <laughs> fine. I clean them. Oh, it's really COVID. COVID. Um, so yes, you so, have been painting. Um, yeah. Oh, but we also. Uh, I'm. I'm tired too because we've been fucking traveling a lot, and we, we were in Hollywood last week. We were hosting the Pornhub Award. Well, we weren't hosting. The, they were hosting sorry, the yeah, carpet. You're right, you're right. Settle down, Aaron. Yeah. Uh, we were. We were the <laughs> orange. The orange carpet hosts. Mm -hmm. um, and actually. Pretty soon you'll be able to hear yeah wait, all the interviews all the with interviews. Everybody. Um, Brian is uh, meticulously yeah. There's a lot of footage. He's diligently going through. going through the footage. We interviewed like a million of your favorite stars. We have fashion. We have jokes. Uh, we had one of uh, the most famous porn stars ever um, have a serious mal wardrobe malfunction while oh, yeah. while she we did the whole interview with us. Um, there were people that uh, we've fucked. There are people we want to fuck. We talk to. It was it was fun, and mm -hmm. we did it all under the the Hollywood night sky. At the yeah, whiskey it was at the whiskey. Um, it was a good time. Rick it was Ross cool. performed. Rick Rick Ross did perform. Biggest boss, Ricky Rose. It was. <laughs> why are you laughing? I'm laughing. I'm just laughing. Your voice changed when you That's, talked about. Those Rick are Ross. some of his names. Oh, it is. Yeah. I yeah. Know. What I do you know. think I'm I doing? Just he riffing. Has, he has nicknames. Oh. Rick so, Ross, a.k.a. Mm -hmm. Biggest, a.k.a. Biggest Boss, a.k.a. Ricky Rose, a.k.a. Mr. Miami. Come on. Oh, is he from Miami? Dade County. What? I don't know. 
how do I know where he's from? I, don't know. I know. He's a superstar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I knew his songs. I mean, I knew his songs. Cause he literally like, has like a song that's like, bitch, I'm from Dade County. Oh, I, I guess I didn't. And really then it just hear. repeats. He says it a lot. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. I yeah. go I go to Miami Porn a lot. Miami. Do you think I should should I hit him up? Like when uh, I go sometime? Yeah, hit him up. You know? Hit him up. Do I let him I really up? wanted to interview him. I know we but, wanted to. But in true rapper rock star fashion he got there like very late and, yeah. and basically just strolled on stage um, but it was really fun he was great ricky rackman yes ricky rackman uh, was, was like, like the main show host. he was the host and then so was like julia fox they hosted right. together yeah, yeah. So and then it, he f- also was another carpet host yeah it's a fun night in hollywood it was a fun night. and yeah. ricky rackman was very nice yeah for um, those of you who don't know uh ricky rackman is kind of like an old school Iconic MTV VJ yeah, he from was the, the host metal metal of scene. Headbangers, Headbangers Ball. Ball, yeah, yeah, that's where I found out about metal. So he was kind of like the Carson Daly of of like metal and music back in the day, right? Before Carson yeah. Daly existed, but he, yeah, yeah, okay. So so Carson is like Carson the, is the Ricky Rackman. Yeah, fair, fair <laughs> of pop music, I guess. <laughs> Noted. Uh, but it was a really fun night. Um, you kind yeah. of got mobbed by fans right when we pulled up. That was funny. Oh yeah, right outside the the whiskey, they're all hollering for autographs and pictures. And I shit. know they they were like, I was like, I get out of the car and there's all these people there with pictures of like my butthole. Yeah. You know, right there on Hollywood like they always Boulevard. print out the butthole pictures. Always like every time I see like those that that group of they people, I feel like for. they're in Hollywood. I see them in like Vegas sometimes. Like they always have the same five pictures. It's like guys. No one ever pulls up with a picture of my butthole. (laughs) I know. I'm offended (laughs) actually. Maybe I don't have the right fans. And I have actually been with other girls. Like I remember being with like a group of other girls in Vegas, and there was like people like who kind of mobbed all of us, like a group of other porn stars, and no one else had like all the other pictures. The girls had like lingerie or clothes on. My pictures spread butthole. Gaping. All of them. Gaping butthole. All every single one. It's like Joanna. 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 And I'm like, guys, did you have to print for. out this picture? It's on brand. I know. It's on brand. Um, and I'm like, it's very easy to find pictures of me. And it's a great butthole. I mean, it's beautiful. It's, uh, yeah, it's it should okay. be. It should be depends, celebrated. Depends on the day. <laughs> it deserves to be celebrated. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there. You know what's that. funny is no one, no fan has ever come up with like a. A photo of me. They just okay. Want, they just here's want a the thing: with you me. are not. And first of all. You're not like an old school porn star. I know where these photos come from. This is like almost like an old school thing. They come from it was those like, like before I was in the game. It's like they, those photos come from um, what's that website? I know uh, from free ones. Free ones used to be like the thing before Pornhub. Oh my god! Before Pornhub, I used free to jack ones. Off using free ones when I yeah. was like. like like fucking 15 right and i do know because they're always printing out the same 20 photos of me like that are my main free ones photos and i think Uh, you were like around after free and they they're always printing out those pictures it's like they go so like those are like i feel like they're more like (laughs) i don't know whether i should be like vintage internet porn star (laughs) i kind of want some of that action i want i want i I was around in the early internet you know you weren't on free ones you weren't on what was that other site that listed porn star the Hun. Um, oh, that I don't even know one. what that was. The Hun. Yeah, that was like the first one. Wow. That was the first one. I mean, that. I guess I just. It's know ju- it was just like hub. sites that like listed links of porn right. stars or whatever, and they were like affiliate links. Yeah. Um, you like, weren't. You weren't like you know. And then p- free ones like you know like Pornhub. Everybody would have a ranking, and I remember when I got in the top. 100 whatever girls is it still of, a of, site does it still exist I, it, it does it right should, oh, should we pull it up does it still work no offense to free ones and i actually remember yeah when i got in the top whatever free ones. Com. um I, it was like a very big deal and they give you like a free t-shirt oh, <laughs> i remember shit, i remember shirt. getting that free shirt they and feeling feeling like really special i mean okay. it was it was a big deal so it exists it exists um it looks yeah i don't think it's changed much right I mean it. Free ones. I, I don't, it kind of looks like like Pornhub, but like. Messy, Did they? More I mean, I haven't somehow. looked at the website in a long time. I don't know. It's there. You can. You it's can like check a bunch it. of yeah. There's like links and photos and you know and whatever. I mean, and then yeah, free ones used to be such a thing. I remember when I was like, when I was taking photos on set or whatever, I would always be like, try to you know like 
in photos that, right. you know, when I was having a shoot, I would always make sure to take an extra 20 photos, like in the, in the positions that I know were popular on that website. Like I was always like, you know, it was like before Instagram or something. I mean, now I'm always just thinking of Instagram. I'm like, oh, I need a lot of clothes on. And look at that. I need lingerie that's not see-through Instagram. for Instagram. <laughs> for Instagram. Everything is for Instagram. And not, it used to always be like, okay, I know free ones, you need something standing up. You need like like this. Like <laughs> like the knee up, like where you're sitting down, but the knee's up. So your vagina's like, you know, like. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> What? You know what I mean? That one, like, it's is that like, so it gives you room to autograph? Like a <laughs> you know what? Like thinking of it now. Is this like a design? Uh, thinking of it now, like yeah, you're le- like you'd be on the ground and you're you'd be like. It's like when you shoot for an album cover and you're like, okay, we're gonna put like the title right. of the album here. Well, I never even thought of it sign. like that. It was actually your body maybe there was, was more sort going of on. Maybe there was more position. going on than you thought. <laughs> but yeah, also I, I mean yeah, so these are like I feel like I always see the same ten guys. I like like how in this in this digital age, in this modern age, these dudes still roll up, pull up on the street with print like printouts. Yeah. Printed out. Like what do they do with them? I think they sell them. Oh, they don't have like a well, yeah, so that used to be a thing. So wall in their garage with um, all the Some of them do. Some of them do. I think it's a little of both. Um I there was a while where it was like a thing. It was like like when we figured out that these guys were selling them, mm. it was like, oh my God, they're selling them. How dare they? You know, and I get it. They, you know, know, that's like fucked up. That you know, because you know, um, you know, my. We first... also. This was also when we used to sign autographs for free at conventions and stuff, right. which we don't really do anymore because we were selling DVDs. But um, so then I, it was a thing. There was a while where I would never, ever, ever just sign my name. I would always put. I would always ask for a name. I'd be like, "What's your name?" Um, oh, and like, if they like, would be like, it, I'm not telling you, I know. Right, They'd be like, oh, you, right. don't, you don't have to put my name. Who wants an autograph from someone without a name on it? You maybe, know? Maybe and I'm like, well, your friend's name? If their name? wife catches it in the drawer, they'll be no, like, it's no, because, it's my But friends. then you would see them like for sale sure. on eBay well, you or know, something. You know what's and, funny you know, is I, Then I, it would be embarrassing because I'd see these go on sale for like <laughs> $5 and then no one, it would be an auction. Well, here's, <laughs> and here's no one would buy them and then it was like $3. Because what I what I thought was happening, because you okay, so my first, you know, my first 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 experience ever as a child with like seeing pornographic images was there was a guy. You mean when you were eighteen? No, I'm telling a childhood story. Like just relax. Okay, but you're not supposed to look at porn until you're eighteen. Yeah, well, I'm just saying. F- welcome to the real okay. world. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. We it's when I grew but up. But we don't this condone what, anybody else yeah, looking at porn until they're eighteen. I hope that doesn't need to be said, but we'll okay, say it. Yes. Okay. So I'm just there's, I'm there's a point to the story. Uh-huh. So the first time I ever saw like like boobs that were you know like printed out on a poster, there uh-huh. was a guy in the neighborhood, a biker guy, and he had in his garage. He would you know he would have the door uh, flipped open. He'd be working on his motorcycle. He had a wall that was like head to toe plastered with autographed photos of porn stars centerfold all you know like all kinds of girls i I was you know very young i was probably fucking seven years old just cruising around on my bicycle and in the alleyway and and i would i i I would stop and i would stare at it i didn't even know what i was looking at like a man cave and um but they were all autographed so that's why i was like oh maybe these guys all have this like epic man fucking cave with some of them do you know with with all these posters hung up mm-hmm. with the autographs because yeah. i because my first 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 ever first time my eyes laid on porn ever on this earth was this biker dude who lived in the same uh, alley as us and he would work on his bike and he would have all these autograph centerfolds and and, and you know posters like pinned up in his yeah. little garage i have seen people have said oh this is for my my man cave at home. This is for this. A lot of them, they'll have like these booklets. Mm-hmm. You, I feel like you've seen it. My oh, fans yeah, who come yeah, to yeah. conventions, like the they binders. have the binders and they're all like inside of um, plastic. Plastic. Yeah. Insane. And they, and so some they of them, so some of them, I've seen them come up and they have like, like, like a year, like, oh, this is because they want me to sign old ones. And that's how I know. It's like, oh, I got to get out the. <laughs> Are they selling them? No, that 
those they those are the collectors. Those are the collectors. I they think, are just are they in the sleeves because they're jacking off to them? They want to keep. The... No, they're just you know. I mean, people do that at horror conventions. People do that at, at Comic Con. Jack off on the pictures. No, they t- they collect autographs and they can, <laughs> you know. But they will come to me and it's like they will have these like like almost like rolling carts and they'll have like photo albums stocked at stacked on photo albums stacked on photo album in there and then they're like oh okay. Okay, I'm at Joanna's booth. Let me let me pull out the let what? me pull out the photo album from 2005 and 2006, and they keep getting like they have a picture of me from every convention, like I going see back. Where these dudes live, and they're like the the shelf that these all these albums are on. Like, I mean, they're collectors, right, you know. Yeah. But like, I wonder, is that going to really exist in the next generation? Does that like do that? Does that it's still like exist? collecting vinyl? Like only yeah. only only the diehards will do it. Because I I have to tell a, you, I haven't seen it's not like like I felt like when I was you know younger like the, I would see a new one of these guys every year but at a certain point it stopped it's not like I'm seeing like younger people right. <laughs> come in like I think when this generation they, they just dies want a out selfie I don't and, yeah. they all just want you know selfies what's the weirdest so. thing that you've ever had to autograph like a, that a fan like because fans bring us items sometimes I've uh, I mean I do autograph a lot of lemons Oh, because it's the like not even weird anymore. Thing. Yeah, okay. it's happened so many wasn't times. There it is like complicated a, uh, to autograph. Wasn't um, there a pilot who used to come see you in like Bakersfield, Sacramento? Uh, yeah, in uh, Sacramento, he, and, he and always he had come. like a he had what did a he bring? Uh, At like a hundred uh, girls signed it. Um, um a Sibian. A Sibian. That's right. He had a Sibian, and it would be like this whole it process. Big. It was big. He'd be like, "Hold on, I have to get it." First, he would come in and be like, will you sign my Sibian? Sure. They had to put like, it on like on. a fucking construction yeah. cart. Yeah, I have to get it from it the in. car. He would, he would need like help getting it from the car. He had to put it together. It came in Wait, this big like so case. What's a and, Sibian? You know what a Sibian is? No, I, I know, mean, but I just feel like describe they, it. I mean, it's like a big seat. It's that like a you big, fuck, right? It's like, um, yeah, it's a big yeah, seat okay. that like vibrates. You know, I felt like uh, Howard Stern yeah. put it on the yeah. map. He'd always have girls ride the Sibian and like try so this, to do. So this and, yeah, dude like a had this, sticking this out pilot. Of it. Yeah, he was a pilot, he right? He, well, and he always I, had no, his pilot. Yeah, you he, came with me to this no, well, signing. What, you this was like what, when we first started. Yeah, what it was was he he didn't like he didn't have his pilot's uniform on. But he always he always had a helmet. No, because he wrote a no. He look. He, you remember better than me. I, well, we. This is now the third time we had met him, or I don't know. He had come around. Yeah. Before. No, he came every time. Anyway, I went to Sacramento. he rolls up I with went. his fucking Sibian. He's dressed nicely. He's handsome. He has money clearly because the Sibian ain't cheap. And oh, and he, I saw he had like a a helmet of some kind with him that also looked expensive, he, like a motorcycle did, yes. helmet or something. He did have a helmet with him that I remember. And 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 I was just like, <laughs> dude, what do you do for a living? Because also he was. At a strip club at 1 p.m. Yeah, you know, was, on a Thursday. No, it was a. To, no, I think it was a Saturday. To be clear, but you know, it broad whatever. daylight. Yeah, there. You know, <laughs> and I'm not <laughs> shaming. I'm not credit. shaming at yeah. all. I was just more like, what kind of guy is this? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and he said, "Oh, I'm a I'm a pilot." And I was like, you know what? That kind of makes sense because. He's like, it's it's a it's kind of like a lonely profession. I, I travel a lot. I can't seem to, you know, have a relationship. So this is like how I spend my money. It's like my fun. Instead of like going on dates, I I kind of like go support girls when they come to the strip club, and I and I throw money at them, and I get my favorite stars to sign my Sibian. And he's like, I I make a great living. He's like, I'm not like, you know, he's like, I'm decent looking. He's like, I know I'm like fine. He's like, this is just fun for me, and this is just what I would rather do. Then like try to pick up a girl at a bar and just constantly be disappointed. And I was like, you know what? That's actually very cool. Hmm. And uh, we 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 kind of you know the guy better than me. We we talked for a while in that in that adult film store they slash used to, strip yeah. club. And, well, that, that's when I would pretend to be your bodyguard. <laughs> yeah, and because the clubs never wanted a boyfriend, you right. know, to travel with you. So I'd be like, oh, Aaron's my my roadie, my bodyguard. I used to actually have fun with it. Yeah. Because I'd be like cosplaying. One day like, you got too famous to do it. I know. But but, but, but in the early days when no one yeah, knew when, who I was. Well, I mean, you weren't, you know. I wasn't were small not, hands. You I weren't wasn't, small you know. hands. You were just my boyfriend. But it was fun because I'd be like, <laughs> all right, 
you know, like you would pick like, up the money off the stage. I would pick up the dollars off the stage. I would even to make it really convincing, flirt with the strippers. <laughs> the strippers like, would always be like, "Oh my God, is your bodyguard single?" <laughs> I'd be like, "Yes, yes, I am. Like, we, I just work for her." <laughs> no, you. She, she's you a did fucking. Not say she's that. a bitch boss. Oh, no, she's tough. No, I know. I would usually that. try to lie. I'd be like. Yeah, I work for her, and they're like, "Are you guys mm, yeah. together?" Yeah. yeah, you weren't. You know, you did good though. You never. You never. I was before. really good at picking up dollars off the. Yeah, stage. you did. You always had fun with it. Um, you were always like very. I did know. have fun with it. Yeah. Occasionally, I would get money thrown at me. Yeah, that was would. towards the end when people when I there was like a a one year period where small hands was a thing and I was still yeah but yeah it traveling was, small with hands you. Was, was just born I got a couple five dollar bills thrown yeah. at me you and know, then no. then it would be like is small hands here well that, like, well no, now now I don't have to working yeah and not, then and then when we like you know that was when we first started dating and you lived in San Diego and I lived in L A and this was like you know we would we would travel together you and then were dancing when we like a lot all over the place yeah. we fell in love I've, I've, yeah. in various strip we really clubs. did we, we fell did. in love in a strip club really we when you think of it we did. how romantic yeah i just remember those trips being so much fun they were a lot of we fun. would you would first of all i love strip clubs yeah i, I love do too. strip clubs um i love hanging out in them i think it's great i love you know hot naked people and the whole vibe is fun um and then you would dance you'd make all this money you do a meet and greet, and a lot of times, and I'm being serious, I know I kind of like gently tease some of the fans, but like I would meet the coolest fucking people at these things, and a, and a lot of your fans were so interesting, smart, artistic, creative people, interesting people to know, and I feel like we got so many connects developed, you know, in different towns by like, yeah. oh, like this, the tattoo artist that came to see me, this is like, you know, the guy in town who's like, owns a, a great bakery or a, a, the, the sick bar. And um, I just think it was such a cool way to see the world really. Yeah. And kind of, you know, you, they say you don't really like know someone until you travel with them and you're like side by side constantly. And we had so much And fun. We, we loved it. We had such a great time. And, and we it, would we would go to like weird little restaurants. Remember that was wild because um, we were- We would, we always... would extend the trip like a day or two in whatever weird city or country sometimes that we were in. and take like a quick little extra vacay yeah it was it was fun it was fun and i got to see cities in america i would have never been to oh, yeah. you know like who like, i would like never Brick go town oklahoma yeah <laughs> like i wouldn't go on a vacation to you know kansas city right. missouri you know or or pittsburgh or even or, bakersfield yeah, you well, know, yeah, like, and I, just I you, know, it's not, you know, but some of these cities, but I'm like, gold, wait, gold clubs, that's bigger. Gold, no, gold club was in Sacramento. Oh, sorry, Sacramento. Rancho, actually, and technically, there's Rancho a lot Cordova. Of, there's a lot of, right? Yeah, it's know, like it's like a town outside California. of Santa, Sacramento. But like, who, who, why would you go to Sacramento? Let alone Rancho Except Cordova. Except Gold Club Centerfolds is one of <laughs> is one of my favorite strip clubs. I I love that. Yeah, strip a lot club. of big names got yeah. their start there. It's a great club. Um, Shout out to. Go 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 club center yeah, and that's usually the first place that porn stars featured in. And actually, the dressing room was always wacky because it was like a porn star museum. Because mm -hmm. girls had been feature dancing there for so many there were years. Posters they were, from like the eighties. Yeah, there were posters, cool. not the eighty, like the nine, early two thousands, nine, maybe nineties, early two okay. thousands. There was like okay. old Janine posters. Remember, mm -hmm. there would be uh, Jenna, Jenna Jameson, Jameson posters. Chasey Lane. And yeah, and I do remember Jenna Jameson's poster. There was like a lot of mean writing on it. So you would see like all the old drama. They would be like, "You suck, you lied." And oh, because that girl, was one. I remember. Would come through. It was almost like tagging. Yes. they'd be like, "I'd always your name every out. time I'd leave and I'd come back, I'd be like, oh my god, I hope nobody wrote anything mean on my poster.'" And nobody ever did. I was oh. very grateful. But there was something mean on a lot of people's posters. So it was funny. <laughs> it was almost like a wall of of drama there was one on jenna jameson's poster there's big in big letters it says it says you lied in your book <laughs> damn that's yeah, very yeah, direct yeah, yeah it's very direct i don't think she ever saw very it cold. you know because i think i don't think she went back and it wasn't it. even really like uh calling her names or anything just no a, it was just like a, you lied in your book direct, very big yeah. on her poster but yeah i used to always call it like like i would sit in the dressing room and just look at every single poster because and you could see it was like you could see the change in the porn industry because there'd be these big posters from the early 2000s where girls were like 
you know, first of all, the the girls they were not they looked all they all looked like women, you know, like very first big of all, boobs, the fact that they were big hair, print, printed, printed posters, very large posters with like, and they were on all like movies. nice paper, yeah, high. and they were all movies, like oh, like Sydney's Safari, you know, or whatever. And there's like a snake around her. I remember that one. It it stuck out, and it was I can't even remember the name of the girl. Um, and they were all like. Like like one poster was like a Cleopatra that was looking a real one. Snake too, because that was before Photoshop got. Oh know, yeah, yeah. Busy. Like everything looked like it was on like a big set with like big costumes and like fancy lighting. You know, like the '90s, like big hair and like red and blue lights and like, you know what I mean. Everything had like a theme to it. That's and awesome. then you would see the newer posters, and it would be like they weren't even posters; they were just eight by tens, like a photo that like you could, you know, just a large photo they just pulled the DVD and it was sleeve a girl and just taped it to the wall jean shorts <laughs> and a bikini top in front of a swimming pool you know or like in front of a couch you know and it was just like here's porn over the years you know what i mean from here to here from you know remember there was like the the girls there like in front of a cop car and it's like you're under arrest you know i do i always love the one poster of uh janine and um and Julia Ann, I remember, and they did a very big feature blonde, blonde, dance blondage, was tour. It? Yeah, blondage. Uh, yes. Um, I always thought that was so cool, and they looked like such uh, badasses. I was. I came like right yeah, after that was era was fan. over, <laughs> so it was cool because I was going to these clubs right when that era sort of ended. Um, so I would hear all these like stories about it, you know. Um. It was crazy. Yeah. It was, you know, really Shout different. out to the strip clubs. Yeah. Um, Shout out we, to which the strip we fell clubs. In love. Hey, hey, we've had some girl, you know, we've had Lisa Ann on the show who is very much part of the, mm-hmm. one of the, I feel like she was one of the first featured, they call it feature dancing. I remember I had to explain it to you. When a porn star appears at a strip club, it's called feature dancing. It's like you're yes. on tour. Yeah. And like you do a quick show basically. Yeah. And, uh, and the house girls all look at you and they're mad because they know yeah, that you're going to take their money that It night. depends on the club. It you does. Know? It does. Sometimes the girls are really cool and like friendly and half the time they're fans of yours. Yeah. Over the years now, like all the girls are like fans of mine. But like, I've, I've, I've been to a few of those clubs where they're a little, yeah. little petty. And, they were and petty. Late, and I've know. seen so many different kinds of strip clubs. Mm-hmm. I remember... God, there was one. You were not with me. It was a strip club in New Jersey. And it's so weird because I am from New Jersey and I had never heard of this town in New Jersey. My God, what was it called? Uh, Is this the one that was in like someone's bedroom? It was in a house. I'm not joking. It was a house. And it was like a house that was converted into a strip club and it was not converted like very, like it still very much looked (laughs) like a living room. and like were there pictures of the family still hanging no, on the walls? No, not that, but you know, it was a house. And okay, the weirdest thing was- Just like a flat was, screen with like random Netflix playing? It just, it, it, you know, just the couches felt like like your mom's like couch. Residential couches, yes. not <laughs> commercial yes. couches. The way, it just felt like, it felt like a house. I don't know what else to say, but the, there was no stage in there. Hmm. Um. And also it was like, yeah, it was on like a residential street. I'm getting too. like, like okay. frat party there vibes wasn't, from this. Yes, is, that, f- is that the vibe you're creating? It, it felt, um, uh, okay, the, the stage was not a stage. It was like a pit. Like usually, you know, you have to walk a few steps onto the stage. You, you had to walk like down. Oh. <laughs> like it was down. They really, uh, like, like there must, I don't know. Like what was it? They really took like it a in an artistic pool. direction. Yeah, yeah, it was like down. They're so like, I'm, you know what? So people were like, yeah, it's in a house. Like throwing money. Yeah, it's not zoned correctly, but well. you know what we're going to do? Yeah. We're going to reverse It's the almost stage like <laughs> they, somebody dug a hole. And That'll then they, be our claim to fame. Yeah. We have the and so people were throwing stage. money down. Like I was a girl like stuck in a well, you know. <laughs> 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 what was that girl that got stuck in the well and like when we were babies? <laughs> Jessica. Um hmm? oh, never mind. Don't you remember there was that story? It was all over the news when we were kids. It was a girl that got stuck in the well. Uh, Baby Jessica, what was her name? Uh, right? I was it Somebody a, did was like a well that doesn't thing? matter. I mean, I don't I think it what did happen on the East Coast, but I believe it was 
pretty much world news. All right. Well, um, must, but yeah, so the, it was that, th- that had nothing to do with anything. Um, <laughs> but I do remember I, get... <laughs> I had to be. And so it was like down. But yeah, it was in a house, and the manager was like a few days over eighteen years old. He was a, like a. How was this not? A straight up frat house. I I don't know. He and he was like, he didn't know what he was doing. Like I was like, are your parents away for the weekend? And I'm just like here. <laughs> um, and I just remember at the end of the night. So the manager's office was in what felt like like your mom's bedroom. Like there was still a bed in there. The dressing room <laughs> that they put me Joanna, in. Joanna, you were in. I a was straight in a, up. I was frat house. Yeah, dormitory. but it was. Uh, I, I mean, it was a strip club. It had like a name. You know, like it wasn't like. Like what it had, about like, it said, made it a strip? You know, it had a name. Legally, <laughs> it had a name. I mean, <laughs> God, I wish I could remember the We've name. We've established like so far it had no stage. It, in I'm fact, it had it negative now. stage. It had negative stage. Okay. Was there a DJ? N- oh my God. I don't think there was a DJ. Was, it, was there even a phone playing a Spotify? There was a phone on a Bluetooth yeah, speaker. I, God, okay. I um and I but what I do remember is that the dressing room that they this put is, me in was um. Like there was all these old <laughs> Christmas decorations in there. Like I was, they, they like in I was in the garage. They put you in storage. <laughs> they put me in storage. And there's all these old Christmas decorations. Yeah, because you know a frat house always goes hard for Christmas yeah. and a lot of decorations. And so. I actually remember under the door, like there was worms every, like all over the floor because it was it was what? like an unfinished basement. And I just remember like I opened oh. the door and there was like, it was like worms everywhere. And I was like in my heels <laughs> trying to it's walk out to... of the dressing room. I was like, I don't, don't want to squish these worms. <laughs> <laughs> I <don't>, and <laughs> you weren't Yo, with me. Okay. You left, you did not tell me okay. most of this. Uh, God. I, uh, and, Wait, um, hold on. So, how, so Wait, you got paid. I, I did get paid. So here's the thing. I do remember How, I do remember like? actually getting nervous, you know. So and most of the time I get a check when I do these clubs. And at that time, I mean, he didn't he wanted to give me cash anyway, but I was like, I think I'm gonna ask them for cash. Yeah. Um uh, and um he was like, I'm gonna get you cash. And he was like, Hold on a second. And he did just give me this like wad of cash. Um, I counted it and it was correct. But he was like hold up he's like someone stole my ipad and look at the time ipads had like just come out they were like a very hot commodity and he was like so much and he stopped the music and he was like who took my fucking ipad from my room and i'm like it literally like the the manager's office was a bedroom like the there was a bed in there it looked like but it looked like his mom's room and he's like somebody stole my ipad at what point will you just accept this you straight up like so we're I was a really glad. At a college dorm, like yeah. a, you, you were at a college party, like I, you know, I like like. But it wasn't college kids there. It was I don't God. What town in New Jersey was this? I think it was called X Rays or something. Yo, Brian, back me I'm up look. here. I'm gonna remember. I'm gonna ask some of my friends because I brought some friends <laughs> um, with me. Um, it's probably not open anymore. If it was, this is great. you know, um, New Jersey. Now I'm going to look and see if it's, if like I'm crazy, whatever. It doesn't matter. I'm going to find out the name. Um, was there like, like Greek lettering on the outside of the house? Wait, <laughs> like I think alpha, I found data, <laughs> X-rays, theta, ga- gamma, kappa, whatever. I feel bad if this is not, um, yeah, I All think right, I guess it doesn't is, okay. matter. Newton. It was in Newton, New Jersey. Okay. Um, a place I had never been to, but I think that's like Western New Jersey. I don't know. But um, yeah, somebody stole his iPad and he was really mad. And um, he stopped the music. I was really glad I had gotten paid at this point because I was like, can I, can I go? Can I go now? Um, And this was also before Uber. So he sent like a limo to come get me. And I I don't know. So wait, when you were, (laughs) when you were dancing, who was there? You said it's not college kids. It was like, and you're you're in the pit, you look up, is it maybe? It felt like did they you know. I will say the sucked? crowd. Is it because you were like? At <laughs> no, that level? nobody was getting their dick sucked. I mean, well, maybe just, was it that was maybe that the purpose of the sunken stage? So you were like already down there. I don't know what the purpose was, honestly. Or they could yeah. just lord over you and feel like men. <laughs> <laughs> Is it, oh, yeah, look at you down there. I don't know what it was. So wait, yeah. was it? Was it just like regular businessmen? No, it wasn't. I wouldn't call them, you know, it was definitely more of a blue collar <laughs> situation. <laughs> it was not like a, 
<laughs> That's okay. Sorry, I feel like I'm getting a Yeah, cold. I actually like, remember yeah. the um, the crowd being like, you know, like I had fans come out and stuff like that. So the crowd was not so strange. Okay. The club and itself was a little strange. Nobody um, like got if, too rowdy and fell into the... No, the, but at the, the end of the night, there was a big fight oh. over this iPad. And then there was like cops outside and you were paid at this point yeah i was paid at this point so i was like i really would like to get out of here can you please call my ride so i can go and he was like who the fuck took my ipad and he was like (laughs) trying to like he stopped the music he was like everybody nobody's leaving till i find my ipad (laughs) i felt like i was at a house party um (laughs) yeah Um, but i have many stripper stories from many places you know good times yeah I mean, you know, I've never, I do. I love strip clubs. Um, you know, I got, okay. I got a, <laughs> like a, a million years ago, like when I was in my twenties, I got asked by uh, some girlfriends to to be a male stripper at like their friend's bachelorette party who like, I guess it always, always thought I was cute or something. Uh-huh. And I agreed to it. And then very quickly pussied out like and backed out uh oh you I, never did it no i'm not a you'd probably you'd i'm not a male stripper that's not it's a, I don't it's ha- a you I don't know have, i don't have the body i haven't uh, i get by a lot on tattoos and personality ex-boyfriends be, you know d- did it for a little yeah. while i mean he said it's very like you know i mean you've seen my no life. i've always been curious I, I got a lot of respect for those for those boys. i mean they're really like they're beautiful you know you got to be hot you i think that's the thing ripped. it's like you would think it's like that for women, like women, you see all different kinds of women yeah. at strip clubs, all different kinds of body types. You got to um, like have Johnny Sins abs. You do. Or, yeah. Be, or I mean, Johnny he, Castle abs he said, to be a male stripper. And yeah. I do not. Yeah. He, he had said it was very like strict, like. I would be like. Cutthroat. The Tuesday day shift male stripper who was also like doubling as the bartender, you know, but I like I'll get up there when it's slow. I don't know. Eh. I don't know if that exists for male strippers. Well, I think I don't good. know. <laughs> good. <laughs> then I mean, then you I'll saw Magic con- Mike. Yeah, I can't compete with that. You know, I mean, it's it's compete. cutthroat. It's tough. Oh wait, oh, you know, we started watching that Chippendales documentary. We should finish watching. No, it, it was remember? Roadhouse. No, no, we're talking about something different. Right you are all over the place. Are you okay? No, you but, high? No, no, me? you are. It was. Totally I was trying high. to make a joke because Roadhouse basically is like. Yeah, but Roadhouse naked. was yeah, but yes, <laughs> yes, Roadhouse and Chippendales are two different things. Both, uh, I no, guess, kind we, of dark stories, you know. We have to finish the Chimentels. We do have to finish the. It Chimentels wasn't a documentary. Story. It was like like a show, uh, like a reimagining. Reenactment with, of whatever. It was. I do was remember good. we were. Gonna, yeah, we are all we were over talking. The place about, we are, are all high? over the place. No, I'm. I, I haven't been high in many years. Okay. Lies. <laughs> I, I haven't been high in many years. I don't. Last I don't New get years? high. I didn't get high. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't smoke weed. <laughs> Oh, I know that. <laughs> I don't do cocaine. I don't do cocaine. I, I've done cocaine <laughs> like five times in the past three years. Yeah, that, I've done it zero times in my life. Yeah, I know. So anyway, maybe less than that, but I'm never doing it. Point is, we're all over the place. I know, and we don't care. Yeah. Um, Wait, I have another stripper story. Oh. Hold on, Brian. I think actually, whenever Flesh is ready, we should just make this two episodes because this is now turning into a strip club episode, and we're—I think we're behind. You know, it'll be good to have one in the can anyway. Sure. So then, whenever he's ready, we can just have because that's okay. like just, let's just have an episode just keep on rolling, him. Then. Okay. Um, did he text you or anything? All right. Well, you want to ask if he there's an ETA or not? Just so I know how long. I'll it text is. him. In like when t- he said he would be here. Okay. That's smart of you. Um, um, you so have another stripper store. We have many. You were not stores. there. Oh. Yeah, this was before oh. you, but it was at. Um, it doesn't matter where it was at. Um, but I thought of it. You were not there. <laughs> and this was. <laughs> That's okay. the important thing. I need to figure out how to say this story Uh-oh. without being um, politically. Not, not politic without saying something wrong, okay. But I guess okay. uh, let me do- just speak from the heart. <laughs> so you do remember as my roadie, like it would be your job, you know, to make sure just pick all my clothes up off the stage and the dollar bills off the stage, mm-hmm. right? Mm. And that was a thing, mm-hmm. and you know, it was always pretty easy. Yes, yeah, okay. So, um, yeah, I was 
I was doing my thing, doing my dance, whatever, whatever. And there was a crowd of people by the stage. There was a guy near the stage who was, you know, um, uh, handicapped. Um, you know, he didn't he didn't have uh, arms or legs. Like, uh, oh, like, para paraplegic. Is well, that? hold on. Did he, did he have limbs and they just didn't work? Or was he like a, a, a st stump, for lack yes. of a better yeah, word? Yes, he was a st So an a, amputee? I mean, what's, yeah, yeah, he had we, li little arms. What's the respectful know? term here? Oh, wait, Brian? he had like, wait, <laughs> like sorry, scary movie a... strong hands? Yeah, he had like little, uh, little, little. So he was just yeah. misproportioned? No, he wasn't misproportioned. Like he was, arms. isn't that the, yeah, he did. I don't know what that's called. Okay, it's really... paraplegic, right? Well, paraplegic means your your shit legs don't move. are. Oh, okay. No, paralyzed. he he. I think quadriplegic is paralyzed. So he had arms, down. but they were little, little, little. Is it? They were little. No, like no. Nubs. Oh, so <laughs> yeah. he had arms that maybe were cut off, like yeah, like my uncle yeah. had. Um, was but with, no, but le not legs either. Right. He okay. Was so a hold little, on. You know. So so my fun fact: my uncle on my father's side is one of the last people in america to have gotten polio back what, oh, wow. back in the fucking okay. 50s or whatever it was because of the vaccines and he had to get his arm amputated and okay. he has always had just like an arm that goes to like like his bicep and then it just kind of rounds out into this nub and he just kind of you know flops okay it around. no this was not that either. did he I mean, did did this person have a hand i am this is Harder he, than it how needs do, to be. I don't. I don't want to. I mean, I'm just explaining a person. You know, like he. You're not he had it well. no arms and no legs, and he was in a wheelchair. So no, no a, limbs. At yeah, all. yeah, and he, you know, he was slow. You know, he. Uh, okay, okay. You know. Uh, you know he he did not. Yeah, he was definitely a special needs person. But having a good night, you know, okay. having okay. a good night at the strip club. I guess it really he doesn't had, matter. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. matter. He had his caretaker or whatever with him. And he did have, I actually thought it was really uh, interesting. Mm. He had a, like a, like a grabber, like the things you have at the bodega when you need to like, oh, grab, like a, like a go-go gadget. Mechanical arm. No, it wasn't a mechanical like arm. Just claw. like, a, he, yeah, just like a long like stick yeah. thing that he was Picking up dollar bills and it's like putting little, them, little... yeah. So he had a little thing, and he was using his like little arm to pick up the dollar bills and put him on the stage. You oh, know, cool. yeah, he was and he was throwing he was the money, having, out, having a good rain. time, yeah. And so I, you know, just like everyone else by the stage, I did my thing, and you know, his his person next to him, I put my butt in his face and stuff. I gave him some extra attention, you know. Yeah, of course. Um, and I was like, okay, you know, whatever. Uh, just you know, it's not the first time I've seen. Something a like person that. Person with no arms and no legs. Yeah, in I a mean, strip club it, making it rain on you. It's um, not, it's not I get the first you know, time. They, a lot of times they come to the porn to the convention. Um, I, like on day one. Um, never mind. Anyway, I, it's not the first time I've seen somebody in that situation You've in seen life. Many amputees. I I have. I mean, at the oh you know, no, it, it's it's just. I always felt remarkable. like like I always feel like like they would come, you know, day one uh, of AVN. Interesting. A lot of them. You know, I've taken a lot of photos with whatever. No, oh, um, yeah. They got to, you know, get their... Yeah, no, more power to them. Okay. I just, I, I, I guess I have. Yeah, I guess met you as don't many, have. Yeah, like I had my uncle I'm growing up. I'm surprised you haven't seen a convention. And it was very a normal, you know. Around. We always okay, no, but that's a, different than a. Um, but, but this is a like slow, a full on. Yeah, he was a slow. Oh my god, I don't want to say. I guess the wrong I'm word. focusing okay. on the lack of limbs more. Yeah, no, you're. The, yeah, he was. <laughs> I'm not gonna. <laughs> I don't know what term you use now. Like I anyway, can't say the R word. We have to dance around it. We just yeah. shouldn't even be talking about okay. it. Okay. All right. Anyway, the the picture's been the picture's painted. been painted. Okay, so of the person so by the stage is there with his yes, mechanical arm. With his mechan it yes. Rain. Anyway, um, uh, okay. So my dance is over. You know, my roadie guy. He goes to the stage. He picks up the dollar bills. And that particular trip, I did remember. I had like all new outfits. A lot of these outfits are like custom made. You know, and they're all like matchy pieces. And he came back and he's like, Joanna, I can't find your panties and i was like what they were like 75 five dollar panties you know they were not like like just you know cheap ones they and they particularly went with this outfit and i was dancing all week so i was like no i need 
those panties really and he went back it, they stopped the stops. you know they stood they stopped the girl on stage they got the security guard they had a flashlight i was like what's going you know Wait, they stopped a girl dancing on yeah stage. they were like hold on a second yeah they, like the you music know, stopped not the music stopped scratch, just the girl like, went <laughs> to the side yeah everybody was helping the security guard was looking That's with a flashlight kind, it was they were very nice they were taking care of me there this was not at the house strip club this was at a different one um <laughs> And, um, you know, we looked around, we couldn't find them. I was like, okay, whatever. I went afterwards to do my signing. Uh -huh. Okay. And, um, I was like, all right, whatever, you know, it is what it is. Um, and, uh, yeah, I go to do my signing and I'm standing there and then the guy in the wheelchair comes by, you know, and he actually, he didn't, he couldn't really talk well. He had like a voice, a voice thingy. This guy was yeah he was, was you know had a lot going on yeah he had a lot going on yeah okay um and he was you know I love was, that he was out of the house yeah though, just yeah, living yeah, life yeah living and then life, he was like fun. I was like oh hey do you want an autograph and then he was like he you know yeah he was like yeah he put and then I start signing an autograph and then he he said in his little like voice recorder deck, what is the thing like a voice. Uh, it's like you when your it? trachea has a hole yes. in it. And you have to, yes, 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 yes. It's like when smokers yes. Uh, yes. Have to get the hole so, drilled. Yeah, throat, yeah, yeah. And he was like, guess what? And I was like, what? And he said, I have your panties. And he took the grabber and he was holding them. And I was like, give those back to me. And he took on his wheelchair. It's like he pushed like, 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 like super fast. Like nitrous, yeah. hyper speed. And he was like, zoomed away and my roadie was like do you need me to chase after him and i was like i don't Let know what to do him. and so i was like running after i was like give me back my fucking panties you motherfucker and i'm like and he's zooming his wheelchair yeah, and he's oh just zooming God. his wheelchair around the strip club and he's so laughing great. he's like ha 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 He's cackling. Dude is voice. having the best time. And I was like, give me back my fucking panties. I was, like, I was like, God damn it, I put my butt in your face. Give me back my fucking panties. Oh my God. This guy like, is awesome. <laughs> and he was like, ha 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 ha. And he didn't pay for his autograph either. He just kind of took the autograph and he went away. Wow. Yeah, and I was like, well, all he's right. A, he's a cheap legend. Yeah, well, it's okay. It's okay. A I was like, I, w I couldn't stop laughing. I wasn't mad. Yeah, and my roadie, you know, who was like, whatever. Wow. He was there and like, you know, was like, he, he knew it was his job to like, if something happened to take care of it, you know, but that he's like, do you, he's like, I can't like, wild. do you need me to, I can't, I can't like, uh, I, I can't like hit that guy you know like i can't i can't you know whatever Jeez. anyway um it was a it was a, an interesting situation i couldn't stop laughing and i was like you know what that more is power to him i'm glad you know the most excited my i panties. think i've ever had anyone get over your panties yeah yeah yeah, yeah. anyway i could do i could do, tell more strip club stories another time i've got plenty of them okay uh, but that was that was a crazy time yeah we've got a we've got to wrap it up but um I'm going to give you, I, I asked on Twitter while we were doing the show real quick, uh, people to just uh, ask a question and um, I'm going to rapid fire you uh, three of them okay. and, and I need you to just answer immediately uh -huh. the first thing that comes to your mind. Uh, is aftercare important to you? Uh, like yeah. after sex? I don't know. Uh, what does that mean to you? No. No. Okay. Uh, smooth or crunchy, <laughs> smooth or crunchy peanut butter? Oh, uh, almond butter. Ooh. And smooth. Ooh, ooh. Uh, okay. Um, ooh. Is there someone from your pre porn days that you wish got into the industry, like a civilian, I guess? No. No, like no, no ex boyfriends, no anything? No. Okay. No. I'm, no. Okay. I would, uh, <laughs> Why would I wish that? I, I don't know. I'm just asking you rapid fire. These are the yeah, questions yeah. people no. are have have, have uh Okay. To, okay, no, last one. Y'all going to Sick New World? What's that? Isn't that the music festival? Oh, who's playing? A lot of bands. It's a festival. I'm not going, I don't think. Okay, well that is uh, it in New York? I don't know. Where is it? Uh, should we we'll, go? We'll have to look into this. Should we'll I go with the person? It's in Vegas. Oh, okay, okay. It's the one with uh it looks like Chevelle, Bring Me the Horizon, oh, okay. Wage no, I'm, War, I'm Static X, However, Sunday, I am in September 
uh, I'm going to see Rob Zombie. Oh, sweet. You want to come, Brian, in New Jersey? Fuck yeah, let's go see Okay, Rob let's Zombie. go. All right. Yes. Uh, I'm it's so a excited. Date. It's a date. Uh, so I will be there and you know all my what? Jersey fans. And you know what? Rob Zombie is very good strip club music. That makes sense for this that episode. Is, yes, it is amazing. You, da- you strip dance club. to Rob, Rob Zombie. I dance a lot. to Rob Zombie all the time. What's yeah. your What's your favorite song to strip to? Let's Let's end out and do a haiku. But first, that's my last question. Um, when Joanna Angel strips, what is the song? Li- Living Dead Girl. Yeah. Yeah, that one. That's the that's, that's the, the one. one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So thanks for listening. Subscribe. Oh, we to do a haiku. Oh, I, I was getting to it. Oh, I was, okay. I was like flipping it a little, you know. Oh, like, okay. like freestyling. Um, you know, crank well, living now dead. I dance yeah, to Rob crank Zombie. living dead girl. Listen to some Rob <laughs> Zombie. Um, let's do a haiku and get out of here. Who you want to start? You want me to start? What do you want? Um You start. Okay. Um Dollar dollar bills. <laughs> dollar dollar bills. You okay. laugh at every line. I I always do. I th- yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. just no pleasing. Uh, I got, okay, I what about you, Brian? Me. Brian, you're so good at haikus. It's so crazy. Let's go with uh, vintage internet porn star. Oh, vintage Bam. internet porn star. Ooh, okay. Dollar dollar bills. Vintage internet porn star. Give back my panties. <laughs> dollar, dollar bills. Give back my panties. <laughs> internet I was vintage like, Give me internet back. No, porn give... star. <laughs> give back my panties. This has been a lovely. No, wait. Give the... me back my thong. How about that? Give me back okay. my thong. That Whatever. also Either works. One. Give back my panties. They both give work. Me, give back my. Th- give me. They back both my play. Whatever. That'll be the anyway. Remix. That was that was a good time. This has been the strip club episode. This has of been the just strip the club tips. episode. Uh, support your local strip club. Yes. Or in your living room. Yeah. Even Come if, see even me if at it's a strip. I don't know house. when I'll be dancing again, but I still dance yep. every once in a while. Yep. So um, next time I do. Come see me. Come check it out. Yeah. All right. We'll see you guys. Yeah.